And you got to be sure to please share with the children. They are future. It's really important, you know? It's good that many of us know what we know, but without the children knowing the future, I mean, what's going to happen next, right? Hmm. So I want to introduce to you our next speaker. This is a little intro to uh, the Golden, Golson, Golson Spinal. A message from the Goldson Spine. Thank you to the Roots Foundation for all your hard work and efforts in bringing together the Marcus Garvey extravaganza and celebrating his 134th birthday. My father, Dr. Fidel Goldson Sr., would take me to African American bookstores here in Broward County and he had me choose out books to read over the summer and some of those books that made the most significant impact was the life and history of Marcus Garvey. Through reading that as a child, I understood commerce better. I understood the workings of how a black man or a black person in America could very easily be successful, but even in that success, be condemned and ostracized if what he was trying to bring to the table took power away from something else. At Golson Spine Rehabilitation Center, we are a practice that serves the public with chiropractic care, physical therapy, psychotherapy. We've been serving the community now for 28 years. Our foundation of our business was our founder, Dr. Fidel Golson Sr., who with a dream, with a loan, started a business, integrated with the community, gave value to the community, and reinvested in the community. I want to say, Congratulations to all of the participants and everyone that's here just for keeping the vision and keeping the dream of what's important in our community and that is our history. That is our roots. So God bless you all. I want to encourage you if you're involved in an accident, please choose us. If you have neck pain or general back pain, you have health insurance or don't have health insurance, we want to be your doctor of choice. We want to be your first stop for choice. We have one convenient telephone number that you can reach us, and that's 866-465-3766. God bless you, and I pray that you continue to prosper. Let's talk about Marcus, never leaving the aid. Brother Marcus, never leaving the aid. Brothers and sisters, the right excellent Marcus Messiah Kai. <laughs> Excuse for the black man in lacking the knowledge 
that man has used to beautify this world. Look around you and see in your what is pleasing to man, contributing to man's comfort, if this but the work of man. Man blessed with the knowledge of himself and the understanding of all things around him. If you are blessed with the knowledge of yourself and the understanding of all things around you, then you will know what is good and what is not. You will know what is finite. If you leave America and go over to the east, to Japan, they will be telling the wonderful citizens of the accomplishments of the Japanese people, proving that as time moves on, so does man. But with you, you have created yourselves as you have done in previous years. You have shown manners toward each other. And the result of while other races have, have come together, you still fighting among yourselves. I'm here tonight and not in the gutter and the ponds of despair because I use my intelligence. And I swear that no man alive shall use his intelligence in understanding the works of nature more than I. I shall rise as high as he ascends. I shall meet him on the same platform of mental equality and fight him till that kingdom come because I know we were created equal. I hope that you would make up your minds as I had made up my mind years ago. Make up your minds that you can rise to the true consciousness of your soul. I'm here to gather you here tonight because I understand you. Understand your neighbor, your wife, your children, so that you can live in harmony with each other and get the best of their life. The early Africans were fathers of our civilization because they participated in the object. When we hear of the Alexandria in the Timbuktu, the creation of the black man in the early ages, you will realize that the civilization that we enjoy today was handed down to the present century. But the black man went back to sleep and he's still sleeping. We try to wake you to the true consciousness of yourself. You young men, you young women, may we appeal to you, knowing you as we do the turn over a new leaf, rejecting the childishness, the foolishness, and the ignorance that have been your part for these many years. The bit in your presence and my heart bleeds for you. The dirty language that you use to express yourself when you can express yourself in better form. And what I said to the black man, I also said to the black woman, your conduct is disgraceful. You young women whose personality spells respectability at the least provocation, the filthy words that you would use would make people want to turn and run away from you. A race that can't conduct itself any better than that is bound to go down in hell, in death and in degradation. Yes, yes. You're dragging your best friends away from you. Men will not respect you because you do not respect yourself. As I come in contact with my people both from a social and a economical point of view, I realize how weak we are in the essentials that make for success. The black man tries to do the right thing and he goes into business, but what do you find? You, you lie on him, you rob him. And the next thing you know, he's pulled down by you as brothers. You are dishonest to each other and have no faith. There's no love for the man in black. See how we are suffering in a foreign time. Suffering here in America, in Europe, in Africa, and in Asia, where men look upon us not with love. You have just witnessed Ron Bob Simple. He is the great Marcus Garvey impersonator. Tell me that wasn't powerful. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm wait right. I remember I had the opportunity to be in that space. I walked into the hall and I saw him, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I said, wait, I didn't know Marcus Garvey was still alive with us. <laughs> and as I listened more, I heard others saying, yes, that is Ron Bob Simple. He is the impersonator. I said, oh my gosh. You would really believe that is Marcus Messiah Garvey. That is what you call raising the spirit of the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. Y'all got to snap it up, fist it up, clap it up for Ron Bob Simple. And stick around because tonight, it's, that's what it's all about. We're raising the spirit of the Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey tonight. Everything we're doing is in honor of his work, his words, his teaching, his determination. You know, and that's why we have to give thanks for ones like Roots Foundation, for ones like the Jamaican Council General, you know, for ones like the media that is helping to push this annually, annually, every year, August 17. Now, last year was great, the year before was great, this year is great. Mm, stick around for next year. 
stick around for next year. It's going to be amazing. Er, of course. <laughs> er, got to put that er in there. You know what I mean? So, so I want to take this time to introduce our next speaker. Okay, it's always an honor when when you can learn of another woman that is so powerful and. Honestly, as the general counsel mentioned earlier, there, she's, not, she's not recognized enough, you know? And me, myself, you know, when I was reading about her, I was just so inspired, so inspired. As a matter of fact, she um, is working with the uh, Camilla's house. And I am part of the Camilla's house as well, so it's amazing. So let me give you a brief thing of the beautiful Miss Jean, Mrs. Jean Garvey. Mrs. Jean Garvey has resided in Florida, that's where we are, for the past 19 years. And she is past president of her, home, her local homeowners association in the village of Wellington in West Palm Beach, Florida, where she resides with her husband, where she resided with her husband of more than 30 years, the late Marcus Garvey Jr. Garvey Jr. served as UNIA President General from 1992 to 2004. He passed on to the ancestors in December 2020 at the tender age of 90 after a year-long battle with Alzheimer's disease. Jean Garvey is a retired marketing professional. She has worked in several marketing sales and pricing position at marketing giants like Altria Group, formerly known as Philip Morris Incorporated, if you're familiar with that. She retired as a senior pricing analyst after serving in several marketing functions, both in the domestic and international divisions of the company. Now, Mrs. Garvey has a long history of civic and community involving involvement dating back to her teenage years as she held many leadership positions and the many organizations in which she was involved in. She has sat on the boards of the New York chapter of the Coalition of 100 Black Women, the children of Lasco Hobus in Haiti, which is properly known IET Inc the New York chapter of the Kingston Technical High School Alumni Association, and she has served as a member of the Legislative Advisory Committee for State Senate Frank Padovan of New York's 11th Senatorial District, her home district at one time, but remember she lives here now, Florida. Since 2003, Mrs. Garvey has also volunteered with Toward a More Perfect Union, and that is a nonprofit organization which, whose mission is to affect constructive change on race, culture, and other issues of differences in our community through dialogue, education, and civic actions. Today, she is with us to add her voice to the ongoing drive to clear Marcus Garvey's name from the false criminal charges with which he was framed and imprisoned in 1925. You didn't know that, did you? It's great, because you're going to learn tonight. So without further ado, Mrs. Garvey, it's over to you now. Can you hear me now? This, this should be better, yes. Yes, as I said before, I'm delighted and honored to be in the company so of my friends. That wonderful introduction. And as mentioned, my name is Jean Garvey. Can you hear me? You know, all the time with technology, there's always going to be some type of challenge. And what makes it even sweeter? We're live. So there's nothing hiding. There's nothing to pretend that it was perfect because it's still perfect in its own way. Right? We are going to come back. We're going to return to Mrs. Jean Garvey. Just want to get everything together. But we're not going to let you wait in vain. We're not going to let you wait in vain. Oh, my goodness. I am extremely elated, extremely elated to introduce this next artist. I know I get extra sometimes. But when you hear uniqueness and beauty, trust me, you will agree with me. This next performance, 
She resides right here in Florida. As a matter of fact, Fort Lauderdale, near me. And I've had the utmost pleasure to see her perform, to see her take part in community. Listen, this young woman, she has an event every Monday night in Fort Lauderdale. It's called Cultural Mondays with Nikki Blaze. You gotta check her out on Instagram. And she's uh, on Instagram, you can find her at Blaze A Faya, and you can get more information. Also, the first Sunday of every month, she has a family fun day where she has the soccer pairs and the artists doing their things. And listen, she performs at my personal event. So without further ado, you hear the drums? You hear it? Y'all get ready. I just need you to get into the zone because she's gonna take you away. The one and only Nikki Blaze. Cha, 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 cha. Greetings, 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 family. Greetings in the mighty name of the Most High. Ja. Rastafari. I, I want to hear that music. I want to hear that heartbeat. I want to hear it up so we can raise the energy. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here in celebration of this great, 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 great hero. And I'm telling you that he helped change my life. I even named my son after him. It's that serious. Yeah? So if you're here and you're going to full joy yourself, I want you to share if you can. Share it. All right? Let's go. Mm -hmm. I taller I become uh, the father you chase my rights away hey, hey, hey. the faster I will run so uh, you can deny me you can decide to turn your face away it don't matter cause there there's something inside so strong i know i know that i can make it yeah though you're doing me wrong so wrong you thought that my pride was gone oh no there's something inside so strong. Oh, there's something inside so strong. To divide and rule is their only plan. Their only plan. But we are no fool. We are overcome. Cause what? Cause I and I are queen. In this jungle. Sitting up so. Family, it's a perfect day 
It's a beautiful day. I'm surrounded by my family. I'm surrounded by love. And one thing I have to tell you, just like how the, the, the great, honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey said, a people without a knowledge of their past history is like a tree without what? A root. So I'm gonna drop this song right here called Lost in Illusion. Just listen to the message. Because a lot of them, a lot of us were lost or still lost, but we're gonna, we're gonna find you. We'll wake you up. Some way, somehow, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. I see them lost, lost in illusions. I see them lost, lost in delusions. And now they reside in a state of confusion. Why wait? Remains poor. My race sitting on the jail floors. My race fighting to knock down doors. Same race they stole from across the shore. My race that built this great nation Still trapped on my supplantation I see them lost Lost in illusions I see them lost Lost in delusions And now they reside in a state of confusion Rwanda, Haiti, down in Darfur, Jamaica, they crying out for murder, hunger, why can't we come together and help one another, it only takes but one to start a revolution, please don't play into the illusion, I see the love. See them lost in a state of confusion. Wake up, wake up, wake up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see them lost. I see them lost. I see them running, running, running. Oh, I see them running. Oh, my people lost. Oh, oh, my people lost. I wanna talk to you now. I wanna. Yes, family. If you're not learning, you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're not living. You're just a bunch of walking dead. And I know you don't want to be a bunch of walking deads around here. So please wake up, live up. I always move with a heart of love. Make your intentions be pure. I beg. I beg one love that was set. Ah, I see them lost, lost in illusion. I see them lost, lost in delusions. And now they reside in a state of confusion. I see them lost. Thank you, family. Yes, yes, y'all, y'all saw me, y'all saw me just now, right? Oh my goodness! I bet you lost in that vocal, right? It's just beautiful. Give it up one more time for Empress Nikki Blaze. <laughs> A blaze of fire. We're raising that the, the spirit of Marcus Garvey. Did you notice how Marcus Garvey like made that pull up? You, you notice that, right? That, that hmm, ancestors. We woke him up. He, he, he watching. I hope you watching too. And if you didn't tell a friend, go and tell a friend right now.